do you feel that you had a good chance to have your voice heard today? Yes, definitely. Especially when we were like discussing in our small table groups, it was really fun because then like when I said my opinion of what um, my dream school would be, people agreed with me and people also added on to what I was saying. So it felt really good to um, have people agree with me. So, yeah. so do you remember what you said and can you, can you tell us what, you, what would your dream school be? Okay, um, one of um, my dream school would be um, for students to not have that much um, failure and dropout rates. <laughs> Sorry, my English. Yeah, and second would be um, for students to be self-driven and motivated to like achieve more in life. And because like now um, there's a lot of things that could affect them outside school. So if they could like be self-motivated, it'd be much better. So yeah. Was there stuff going on in your head today that kind of like, you know, you kind of wanted to scream out and say, or just say like, you know, this is how it is and this is what I think should happen. Was, were there any overall impressions like that that came to you today? Well, I mean, uh, the biggest thing to me was that you're telling us all of these things and I believe that we shouldn't have known about them right from the beginning when you implemented these policies. And that just goes to show about communication at all levels, not just between superintendents, teachers and principals, but the students as well. And I believe that that's really important. Um, uh, sort of a student voice and having uh, that sort of communication at all levels. So are you talking about like when a decision is made that affects you, you're mm -hmm. not being consulted? Yes, of course. Like uh, if, if you make a policy, it has to be um, a group effort where um, the policies are, you, you come up with these policies and then you tell us, you let us know why you guys are making these policies and then we don't have as much of the uncertainty of why you guys uh, uh, were motivated for these decisions. So. And, and why, uh, in your mind, why do you think you're not being consulted? Well, I mean, it's, uh, I think it, it just goes with the natural discrimination to students where um, it's stereotypes, where students, they believe that we're not mature enough uh, or that uh, we have the opinions that we have aren't as important as some of the teachers or principals who um, are a little bit more older or, or much more mature than us. So. Has, has anything changed with the way you view school after today? Yes, it's to speak out more, especially since our um, opinions matter, and especially since in this event today, um, it's shown that like other people also agree with me, and they like like our opinion basically. <laughs> Great. How does that make you feel? It makes me feel really good because then our like opinion is appreciated, and it isn't like um, thought as being odd or something. Yeah. So when you were at the table discussions today, and I'm sure that you were asked for, I hope you were asked for your opinion, I mean, were there some key points that you were able to get out to the adults today, like, you know, and in terms of, you know, the discussions, was, was there things that kind of, you know, maybe, maybe made people stop when you actually were able to express yourself? Yes, uh, when we did the group activity, um, and we started sharing our uh, things, uh, I got to go first and it seemed uh, when I went people were shocked and they all put their opinions after mine because uh, I said time, um, we need more time and then that let off branches from their own things which made my more time seem reasonable and like I said more time and then another teacher said yes we need more time teaching lessons day to day. Uh, it doesn't work because we have no time to reflect those lessons that I learned and we're assigning homework that is unreasonable for students and then we had principals and the one trustee lady was uh, didn't even know this was happening and her she was she was shocked so I was very glad to put my input in so in a way you, you almost led the discussion so did you how did you feel when when people were actually listening to you I felt I felt proud it was like Finally, like my voices, students' voices are being heard, and this is a great way to do it. Right. What about you? How would your table discussion go? Well, I mean, we had a very diverse table. There were people from uh, different provinces, people um, of different jobs, and I mean that um, everyone was just really receptive of what you had to say. And they said that um, students did have a really insightful opinion and a different opinion from adults, and um, that just goes to show how important student voice is. Now you said one of the big barriers to change was time, so that was yours. But was there a major one that came out from you uh, that people were listening to? Yes. Well, um, I really believe that um, the proper structure, so that we can have the proper communication, is very important. Because if we don't have the structure, how how is the students uh, supposed to communicate with the hierarchy of the um, education systems? 
Is there one thing with the presentations today, the discussions, is there one thing that you felt that you have learned today that you're walking home with tonight? Um, with the presentations and discussions, like there were lots of major problems that uh, me as a student was unaware of. I'm, I'm only concerned of class sizes and the more time and stuff. And teachers and principals, they were discussing the major problems that are leading to these problems, and I was blown away. I was, I w I became a learner, and I was listening. That, yeah, that would be mine. Do you at all like? I know it's only one day, but do you view your position in education a little differently? Have you have you looked at providing education a little differently after a day like today? Well, I mean, you just uh, realize how fast changes in a time like we uh, time like now where technology is increasing rapidly and just education system needs to follow along with the techn new technology that's uh, occurring and we need to rapidly advance rapidly improve and there's always uh, a new need for change and right now we're just seeing more and more evidence of that so.